Hi, everyone. Welcome to Stevenson University. Rob Dawson here. We go inside the huddle with women's basketball head coach, Jackie Boswell. Coach, good to be with you again. Good to be with you. And, uh, of course, uh, the week ahead, a little bit different than the last week in the sense that uh, I know you never really rest during the basketball season, but you don't have a game to prepare for for several days, unlike the four games in eight days that you've just come out of. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's been a nice couple days off yesterday and today. Um, you know, just trying to regroup a little bit. We'll watch a lot of film over the things that we need to do to get better um, and start preparing for Saturday's game. Now, so. now I, I want to start off with the uh, the game before uh, the two conference games on Monday because mm -hmm. we didn't get a chance to talk about this in last week's taping. Um, but you played after you form, and uh, for some sports here at Stevenson, that's an in-conference opponent. And for basketball, it's a separation because they're in the Freedom Conference and Stevenson's in the Commonwealth. Um, but FDU, Florham comes in with a, a very big resume year after year in the 2014 uh, National Champion. You, you lost the game up there, but what does it mean to schedule an opponent like that? And, and did your NCAA tournament appearance last year maybe help facilitate that a little bit? Well, I certainly hope so. I mean, I, I hope that we're gaining the respect from other people. Um, I do appreciate them putting us on the schedule as well. And, you know, we want to see what that kind of caliber team is like. They had a couple kids left over from their national championship team. And um, it was just a tough road trip. You know, we had, you know, Albright and then FDU and Lev Val. It was a tough, um, tough couple days. But um, hopefully it pays off for us in the end. Um, you know, again, in the non-conference you know, you always want to come out with a win, but we want to come out learning the most. And I think we did learn a lot from that game. Indeed. Now, the reason why I bring that game up is, you know, you had the the tough loss to Albright at home, the mm -hmm. you have to use Florham loss, and then you still had two more games to go in the grueling stretch. But those both came out on wins. And uh, we want to talk about the Wednesday game at Lebanon Valley, mm -hmm. a place that's been difficult for your team, I think, to play in over the past couple of years. Yeah. But you come out, and uh, the last three minutes of the game, Lebanon Valley doesn't get any points. Yeah, I thought that our kids showed a lot of toughness. So I want to give a, a lot of credit to how tough we played and how tough we came out of that week. Um, it is a tough place to play for us for whatever reason. And um, I thought our defense did a really good job there and uh, executed our game plan. And, and I thought Caitlin Roy came up and hit a big three there at the end and put us ahead and, and really never looked back after that. Yeah, I was just about to bring her up. Mm -hmm. That big that big shot. And, and she is averaging, I believe, 30 minutes a game, maybe even a little bit more mm -hmm. at this point. And uh, a little bit different than the rest of her career perhaps in, in that category uh, how much does she love and playing as much as she has well you know I'm sure she's loving it but she you know always wanted what was best for our team and and this year as a senior she's really stepped up in the leadership spot she's one of our best defenders and always gets a tough defensive assignment so the fact that she's also coming up and hitting some big shots that's not the only big three she's hit for us on the season and and you know she's doing it when we need her to do it um you know and, and then I can't say enough about her defensive effort on Saturday Indeed. And then uh, and again on Saturday, you come out uh, with a win against Arcadia, uh, jumping out uh, so early uh, against them. And, and I'm sure at home as well, just just made you smile a little bit. Yeah, that was a lot of fun in the first couple of minutes. <laughs> um, we knew it was going to be a long game, though, and, and we knew that Arcadia had the potential if they hung around, you know, it could could get very close. And, you know, we didn't want it to come down to a last minute game um, like the other two had or, you know, really the couple before had come down to. So I thought we did a good job executing in the first couple minutes, kind of putting them back on their heels. They recovered, and I thought we did a good job of maintaining control the rest of the game. And if you look at their uh, games, uh, Arcadia, very streaky at times where they will go on an incredible shooting run. All of a sudden, they'll shoot 50% in a right. stretch of the game. But to hold them to 27 28%, that must have been something special. It was. I mean, again, we executed the defensive plan because we knew that they had the potential to come out and just start you know, firing it up. And I think in the third quarter, they really did get close. And and um, But I thought we did a really good job of maintaining our composure and withstanding their run and, and being able to finish. Uh, of course, uh, we, we've talked enough about uh, Sarah Tarber, and we'll be talking to her about it again and, and put another great performance on, on Saturday. But uh, two of the players uh, wanted to uh, or, uh, talk about a little bit, uh, Amani Sanders, who we mm -hmm. see more in the point guard role. And then when she has a rest, uh, Armani Duckett-Mooney mm -hmm. uh, coming on, um, she seems to very quickly have understood everything or many things that goes on with your team. Uh, 
in the couple two Saturdays ago, uh, I've seen her just have brilliant passes to the to the lane to find the bigs. Yeah, I mean, she's done a great job. One of the reasons we recruited her, she could see the floor very well, and and she's very accurate with her passing. And she does get the offensive part of that. We're working on the defensive game. I think she doesn't understand how good of a defensive player she can be yet. Um, you know, she's always been more quick than everyone else. She's always been more athletic than everyone else. And now at this level, you know, things are evening out a little bit. But I still think that she can be one of the top defenders in this in this um, conference. And we're working on that every day. She's very coachable. Both of those kids have done everything we've asked them to do in practice. We really take those two away from the rest of the team a lot just to work on a lot of different things, which I think that they're really responding to. Um, part of it being the few points that they're giving us on the board. Um, we've really been working on their um, offensive decision making and going to attack the basket, and I think they're doing a great job with that. And Imani has been everything that you've hoped, especially coming up after the big shoes of Ty Bender, huh? Right. Yeah, that's a tough, that's a tough shoes to fill. So we're just trying to get her to do her own shoes, yeah. and um, I think she's doing a great job with that, and and she's really settling in. And you know, we sometimes forget they're still really, really young. They're both really young and not a lot of experience right now. But like I said, the biggest thing is they're both very coachable and. Every day they want to learn and want to get better. Thing about this week uh, with the one game on on Saturday, and we'll end on this because we began it uh, like that. But um, even though you never really rest and and you're still thinking about basketball and your team is, is still mm -hmm. thinking about basketball, is it nice to have this week where you get to spend maybe an extra day or two on what you guys want to do, whether you need to look at something on tape, or, or is it nice to have that to just worry about yourself before getting ready for another opponent? Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, like I said, that's what we spend in the next couple of days doing. Um, it's been a, a long two weeks since we've been back from break, and, and now this is a good rest and a good time for us to kind of regroup and see what we're doing. All right, well, Coach, have a good rest of that week. Thank you. All right, and you can keep up to date with all the women's basketball news on GoMustangSports.com. For Coach Jackie Boswell, I'm Rob Dawson. This is the Mustang Sports Network, powered by SFMSports.net.